guys, I'm Keto Diamond and I've used Keto to lose 135 pounds so far. People are asking me how I make my fried bologna cheese sandwiches that I feed for my husband. Uh, they're not really good for me, but for him, who he's very active, he burns off a whole lot of calories, and he can have more carbohydrates than I can. I'm going to show you how I make them. First, I take a piece of this St. Joseph's Lavish Flatbread Wrap with, um, that doesn't say the carb count. I think it's seven. Let's see. Let's flip this sucker over. Uh, six net carbs, eight total, two are from fiber. I cut it in four squares, four big squares first, and then I cut the second square in half. So basically what we have are, this is half of a wrap, and this is what the serving size is. Both of these together are half the wrap. I fry his bologna like I normally would, and then we've got a pan with butter here that we're just going to drop these fried bologna and cheese in. For these wraps, we get these at Walmart. Um, they're quite large sheets. These will make basically four sandwiches. Um, and they're, they're, they're good for a lot of things, really, if you can have them. They do have a minor amount of wheat in them. So if you're wheat sensitive, that won't work for you or grain sensitive. But uh, it's a great alternative for people who can have it. I just use a pizza cutter to cut these. They never come out even because I'm just eyeballing it. But this right here is half a wrap. And that's one serving size. And of course, this is half a wrap. And I'm going to cut these in four more squares. And again, they never come out even because I'm just eyeballing it. And uh, sometimes I have to pull them apart. But you put your ham and cheese, uh, bony and cheese on this and just kind of put this on top of it. Um, it works great. It really does. Also great for grilled cheese sandwiches and, again, so many other things. You could even put, like, a little tomato sauce on here, some mozzarella cheese and pepperonis, and have, like, a little pizza uh, sandwich if you want to or put them in the toaster oven and have a, a square pizza I'll let the bologna and cheese sit on here for just a minute let the cheese get all good melty I just used um, great value American cheese and some real butter and then I'm gonna flip these after a few minutes and for my husband I'm gonna add just a little bit of mustard on the bologna side when they're done I might have accidentally overcooked this side just a little bit but I imagine it's gonna taste just fine Guys, I'm trying to take my breakfast to a whole new level. I mean, who doesn't miss toast? Who doesn't miss grilled cheese sandwiches? So here I have fried up two grilled cheese sandwiches on a half of a St. Joseph's flatbread flax wrap, the lavish wraps. I've got three sausage uh, links, and I've got two bubble yellow eggs. This looks like a pretty great breakfast to me. Other times, one of the questions I get is how to get your, uh, your family on board or your men folk on board. And uh, this is one of the easiest ways I know to find keto-friendly options that they'll really love. My husband loves fried bologna and cheese sandwiches. He, li he loves tomato sandwiches. But for that, we could use one of these. Obviously, we could do tomatoes, um, tomatoes and mayonnaise on these if we wanted to. But also, I, I found a tomato salad that I make for him. It's just lettuce, tomatoes, mayonnaise, and salt and pepper. And that seems to heal that. So there are options out there. We just have to figure them out. And making them as simple as possible makes it easier on us. Anyway, guys and dolls, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Much love to you. I'll see you in a minute. I don't know if I said so, but these wraps are only, you get four of them, and they're only like $2 and some change at Walmart.